Across the country, doctors are seeing a spike in respiratory illnesses uh, the, uh, with at least 10 states now, as well as New York City and Puerto Rico reporting high or very high activity. A similar story is still playing out in North Texas hospitals. Uh, Children's Health in Dallas is reporting its highest number of RSV cases during the week of November 19th where staff saw 501 cases system wide. That includes inpatient, outpatient and ER visits. ABC's Melissa Adan is tracking the rise in respiratory illnesses nationwide. ER visits for flu-like symptoms are ramping up across the nation. New CDC data is tracking a rise in respiratory illnesses with 10 states plus New York City and Puerto Rico seeing high or very high activity like South Carolina, Louisiana, Texas and Florida. Experts say it's common for cases to spike in the south and then spread. Symptoms ranging from fever and a cough or sore throat from any respiratory disease, including the flu, COVID, RSV, and the common cold. Of course, crowded hospitals evoke some serious memories of COVID. This is not unexpected, given that we are in respiratory virus season and we have reduced immunity as a result of years of lockdowns. Capacity at U.S. hospitals remains stable right now. However, concern in China, where there are scenes of overcrowded hospitals. Health officials say the infections in China are driven by known pathogens and insist they are not detecting any new virus like the world saw with COVID. China recently easing COVID restrictions. Due to the arrival of the winter season, the increasing trend in respiratory illness is expected. Co-circulation and uh, co-circulation of respiratory viruses may increase the burden on healthcare facilities. The World Health Organization says since mid-October, they are monitoring data showing an increase in respiratory illness in children in northern China. The reported symptoms common to several respiratory diseases that the U.S. experienced last cold and flu season. In the U.S., flu and COVID hospitalizations are highest among people over 65, while most RSV cases are in children. Doctors recommending staying up to date with vaccinations, saying it's not too late to get your shots now. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Los Angeles.